Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be doing an open tag response to one started by RJ over at RJ's Knives, and this is Orange Handled Knives or Orange Knives. Please go check out his channel, make sure you like, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on RJ. He's got a live every Sunday from the UK time, that is 6.30pm, uh, that is 12.30 Central and 10.30 RJ time I believe, could get that wrong. But please go check him out. He's got a great live, loads of different guests on there. Definitely go check him out. So we'll jump right into it. And um, The first one I'm going to say is a bit of a cheat for an orange knife, because I don't have many. Um, I only have about four. But this is the Desert Fox Stockman. It is black and orange, but there is orange on there, so I thought I'd include it anyway. You see the orange underliners on there, the orange fox head, and the orange and black micarta on there as well. So this is sort of the serpentine style medium stockman you do have that long swooping sort of turkish clip or california clip uh, standard stockman blades really and you have the sheep's foot and the spay blade on there as well which i quite like because it's looking a lot like a drop point to me i know it is still spay but it looks a hell of a lot like a drop point to me so there is the first one, that is the Desert Fox Stockman from Rough Rider. And I'll give you that model number in case you guys are interested, it's 2303. Next up we have a modern, and this is the Real Steel RB5. Sort of Real Steel's interpretation on a modern Barlow. You can see we have these orange G10 scales on here, you can see you've got the faux bolster. And then the jigging on the titanium here to make it a bit grippy. You can see you have as well a steel back spring and then we have milled liners as well there to save weight. This did come with a reversible pocket clip which is what these grooves are on here but I found it a lot more comfortable to have that taken off which is what I've done. Really grippy knife, the scales are so grippy it's a great work knife and it does have that trademark real steel sort of one third or two third stops whichever way you look at it. It does as well have that jimping underneath, which makes it really grippy. You feel like you're not going to slide forward onto that blade. There's wonderful spear point blades, swedging, long pull. Got that real steel on there as well. Really do like this knife. It's one of the only moderns I sort of still carry. So I'm very much a traditional guy now. Just listen to the action on it as well. Just really well done from real steel. Good thing about this knife as well, the scales are interchangeable, so you just have to remove the two screws. They slide off and then you can just put different colour ones on as well. So there's the next one, Real Steel RB5. Another modern one. I have very few moderns now, I have got rid of quite a few of them. But this is one I decided to keep, this is the Cancept Bevy, and you can see it's in this orange G10. You know, the Torx construction, steel liner, steel backspring lanyard hole obviously makes it a bit easier to grip because it's quite a small knife and then you have this really wonderful shaped clip point blade with the long fuller on there the concept logo there is 154 cm nick swan design and the bevy there as well as a model number no half stop but it does have sort of like a natural on the cam tang but it's quite you know sort of mushy you call it but it is a fantastic knife the action is wonderful and it's a really slicey blade as well. Something I really like for the UK, it's nice, small, compact, it doesn't look too aggressive. One I should really carry more. So, Cancept Bevy. And then finally the last one I have, I've only had four orange knives, is the Rosecraft Blade Clinch uh, River Swayback. See there, nickel. Uh, sorry, steel bolsters, nickel silver shield and pins. There's a brass lanyard tube there, steel liners and back spring. And the fit and finish on these is fantastic. They do a great job. And of course, it does have that wonderful orange bone. Really great job from them. The fit and finish on this and the die job is absolutely fantastic. So it is a, a sway back design. So you can see it sways up here. A nail nick to open into a half stop. And whenever I see this knife, it always reminds me of the Grim Reaper. I don't know why. I think it's mainly when it's in this position, it does look like a sigh. 
but you have this really sort of long Warncliffe blade, the swedging across there, slight recurve to the blade, very, very slight, and this really forward finger choil gives you security when using the knife, and it does fit in the hand really comfortably as well. And even when you're holding it here, if the blade were to close, look how much room there is, it's no way that's cutting you. So I do think this is one of the safer traditional knives out there. See the Clinch River Swayback from Rosecraft Blades, and that is the model number is RCT005, and of course it's an Andy Armstrong, and it's in the D2 steel. Absolutely love D2 steel, it's fantastic. But this is a hell of a slicey blade, definitely one you guys should check out. Definitely check out some of the Rosecrafts, they do some fantastic stuff. So there we go guys, that's my four knife open tag response to RJ's Knives with Orange Knives. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to go check out RJ. Check out his live on a Sunday. Go watch a load of his videos. He's got some great stuff going on over there. So there we go. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Hope to catch you guys again. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.